guys, what's up, how's it going? My name is Samantha and I am the Boho Witch here on YouTube and Artsy Mouse over on Instagram. If this is your first time here and you're interested in making some magical crafts, watching witchy unboxings, or learning aspects of the craft itself, then go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell so you never miss out on another video. In today's video, I'm going to be finishing up the oil of Aphrodite I made back in November. And using the infused oil we started back in the beginning of December to make our wound healing solve. To start off the video, we are going to work with the oil of Aphrodite. This was made with rose and damiana and infused in sunflower oil. I'm going to be using a muslin bag to strain, a deep cup to catch the oil, and a bottle to store it all in. So first thing is first, we're going to want to strain out the herbs from our oil. So I'm going to be using this muslin bag and putting it inside of the cup like so. You can use a wide mouth uh, bowl if you'd like to, but this way I like doing it because I don't have a third hand to hold my muslin bag while I pour everything inside. Now that we have all of our mixture poured into the bag, roll up your sleeves, cause this next part is gonna get messy. Squeeze, twist, use those lovely hand muscles and get all of that delicious oil out of the herbs. Then we carefully pour the oil into our storage jar. Pro tip, use a funnel if you have one. Also, make sure to always label your jars with the ingredients of your mixture and the date in which you made them. This specific mixture should last for about six months or longer if refrigerated. This oil of Aphrodite, made from rose petals and damiana, can be used as an all-natural massage oil, lubricant, or anointing oil for your magical purposes. Alrighty, and moving on into our infused oil for the wound healing salve. This mixture was made with meadow sweet, calendula, echinacea, and infused in sunflower oil for about four weeks. So I'm going to be using the muslin bag and the cup like before, but for this recipe, we're also going to need some beeswax and then two different jars, a smaller one to melt the beeswax into and then a larger one to bring our oil up to temperature. So just like before, I am stretching my muslin bag over my deep cup so I can easily one hand pour the oil into it. And actually another way that I just thought of that you can do it one handed is stretching your bag on top of your uh, jar with your mixture and then I guess just turning it over, but definitely turn it over into like a wide mouth bowl. <laughs> And we're back to the messy point of squeezing it all out with our hands. So I have tried to use a old French press uh, back in the past, but I wasn't able to squeeze all of the oil out of the herbs like I can uh, with my hands here. So pro tip, definitely just use your hands and don't try to go the easy way out. And just look at that beautiful, beautiful golden color. I'm really surprised at how well the color of the calendula came out in the infusion process. Alrighty, so now that our oil is all separated from our herbs, we are going to cut up the beeswax into a little bit smaller squares in preparation for melting it all down. And now that I have that done, I'm going to take both the oil and the wax and move them over into my makeshift double boiler. So what we're basically doing here is just melting down the beeswax into a liquid form and then bringing up the temperature of the oil so that when we mix them both together, the beeswax doesn't solidify because of the cold oil. When your beeswax is all melted, remove your jars from your double boiler with gloves or oven mitts. Be careful because they will be hot. 
Now, I didn't mention before, but you will need some kind of storage container to store your solve in. These I got from my Apothecary at Home subscription box, which is also where I got the herbs and recipes to make both of these mixtures. Go ahead and pour your beeswax into your oil. Make sure to get every last drop. <laughs> and then give it a good stir. At this point, you want to move kind of fast because as you can see, I'm scraping off already solid wax just from stirring. So just make sure that everything is nice and handy for you to go ahead and quickly pour your solve into your dishes. Now, if you don't have fancy dishes like this, no need to worry. Go ahead and just use any old Tupperware or you can even use an old mason jar. I personally always try to use glass or metal because plastic tends to absorb things and I don't necessarily like that. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over the color. It's so beautiful. Comment down below if you love it just as much as I do. So the last little bit that I ended up doing was adding some extra calendula petals onto the top of my solve. This is just the Libra in me coming out. I like the aesthetics. I like the pretty things. But again, this part is totally optional. You don't need to do it. Just like before, it's always a great habit to label your jars and mark the ingredients and the date in which you made. This solve can last for up to six months or even up to a year if put in the refrigerator. This solve can be used to disinfect and heal bug bites, rashes, minor cuts, scrapes, and even more. Is it bad that I kind of want to go out and scrape myself up just so I can use it? Alrighty guys, well that is all I have for you today. I hope you had fun hanging out with me and watching me finish up these projects that I've been waiting on. If you're not ready for the witchy craftiness to end, I will go ahead and link my witchcrafting playlist up in the top corner so you can head over there and watch to your heart's desire. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of the video and if you ended up making either one of these projects. I always love chatting with you guys and hearing what you have to say. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up and show me that you enjoyed this video, and if you're not already part of the family, go ahead and subscribe so I can see you next time. And as always, be kind to each other, do what you will, but harm none. Alright, bye guys, happy crafting!